one my inner critic is very strong so one of the reddit posters was asking about was talking about how because of her um, upbringing her parents were always criticizing her and now that she's moved away she noticed that her her she she is even more critical of herself and if you're anything like me you know what i'm talking about because this is exactly like me inside my head because nothing is good enough everything is wrong and i had to work really hard to um take take care of this inner voice so there are five things that i usually do that i learn to do and it's actually um challenging to do that um five things that i do to take care of my inner voice and so the first step is to notice it. Notice that I'm speaking ill to myself. Things like, why are you so stupid? Why would you do that? So just notice to say, hey, um, I noticed you saying that. And then just question, lovingly question, be curious to ask, why is it doing that? Say, hey, I noticed you were doing that. Why, why would you do, why would you say something like that to yourself? And then when the other one would be to um, to acknowledge, acknowledge in the sense of hey, like calling it out to say hey, I I see you do that. It's not fair to yourself. It is not something that um, that is nice to you. And then the fourth one is to um, um, be compassionate with it. To say hey, I I, I get it. It is a difficult situation. It was something that was kind of out of the ordinary. So I see why, I understand why you're doing that. And then finally, to think it, to say, hey, um, I, I heard you and I thank you for speaking up and yet this is not um, going to help me in moving forward. So th those are the five things. Um, to note, uh, to notice it, to question it, to uh, show compassion. Uh, sorry, to call it out, to um, show compassion, and to think it. And then one last thing would be, I would have um, a thought that or a sentence that I want to say to myself, and I will repeat that to say for example if if my if what, what my brain is saying that was a dumb thing to say then my rebuttal sentence would be um whatever i say is worthwhile to be to be heard it's valuable and so i'll keep repeating this process that doesn't have to go through all five of them but just even noticing it and i'm calling it out and thinking it would sometimes be sufficient as you keep going through this process. But it is a process because what happens is this has been a habitual loop that has just been going around and around. So we need to break up that in order to um, move forward, move, up, move ourselves forward. So I hope that it helps you um, um, as much as it did me if you notice like if you find it difficult i would love for you to share with me and so that we can identify where exactly is difficult and what we can do for that um and the hardest part is the noticing and then calling it out because sometimes we actually believe that thought to be true right so by calling it out to say hey that is not true and that is not fair then you've already started breaking the cycle and um and that would be the one little piece that could actually move you forward so i hope that it helps you um that's it for tonight and if there's anything else you would like help with um would love for you to share with me um and i can answer uh in the video thank you very much and i'll see you next time